Day 934 Welcome to the Ukraine Wireless YouTube channel. Today we bring you the latest developments on the Ukraine and Russian operations. Before we dive into the heart of today's report, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss any vital updates from the front lines. Today marks day 934 of the brutal war that continues to rage between Ukrainian and Russian forces. As the sun rose over Ukraine, the fighting intensified. Since the early hours, there have been a staggering 137 combat clashes, with Russian forces persistently attempting to advance into Ukrainian-held territory. Despite their ferocious efforts, Ukraine's military has not only held its ground but struck back with a ferocity that has left Russia reeling. The largest concentration of fighting occurred in the Pokrovsky and Kurakivsky directions, where Russian troops have been pushing hard to break through Ukrainian defenses. However, the resilient Ukrainian soldiers have repeatedly stifled these advances, delivering a punishing blow to the invaders. The outcome of these battles has set the tone for the rest of the day, with Ukraine holding strong across multiple key fronts. In addition to ground offensives, Russia has unleashed a barrage of airstrikes, hoping to weaken Ukraine's defenses and break civilian morale. A total of 56 airstrikes were carried out today, with Russian forces deploying 83 guided aviation bombs over Ukrainian territory. The skies have become another battleground, with kamikaze drones numbering 428 also targeting Ukrainian positions. The scale of the bombardment has been staggering, with almost 2,800 artillery shells raining down on Ukrainian soldiers and civilians alike. Despite the aerial onslaught, Ukraine's air defenses remain active and determined ensuring that many of these attacks are blunted before they can inflict maximum damage. In the Kharkiv direction, the Russian forces launched multiple attempts to storm Ukrainian positions near Vovchansk. However, these offensives failed, with Ukraine soldiers repelling the enemy. Russian aviation, launching from within their borders, targeted civilian infrastructure in the city of Kharkiv and the nearby settlement of Raskolozova with guided aviation bombs. This cowardly attack aimed to disrupt daily life for civilians, but the Ukrainian spirit remains unbroken. In the Kupiansk direction, Russian forces launched a series of offensives near Sinkivka, Petropavlivka, Kolesnikivka, and several other settlements. Fierce battles erupted in these areas, with a total of 18 separate engagements recorded by day's end. Further east, in the Lyman direction, Russian forces launched assaults against Ukrainian defensive positions near Druzhe Libivka, Kovalivka, Nevsky, and other nearby settlements. Despite their attempts, the Russian advance was decisively halted by Ukrainian troops, who successfully repelled every attack. The Lyman sector remains under firm Ukrainian control, a testament to the strength and resolve of Ukraine's defenders. In the Siversk sector, Ukrainian soldiers faced 12 Russian offensive actions, primarily nearby Lohorivka and Verknokamiansky. The Russians were relentless, but Ukrainian forces managed to repel all their attempts. In the Bakhmut direction, intense fighting raged throughout the day. Russian forces attempted to storm Ukrainian positions near ivano derivka but they were met with fierce resistance. The defense of this critical sector is ongoing, with Ukrainian forces keeping the invaders at bay. In the Toretsk direction, Russian forces launched multiple attacks near the settlements of Dashny, Sherbinivka, and Nelepivka. Ukraine's military stopped these offensives dead in their tracks, leaving the Russian soldiers reeling. Meanwhile, in the Pokrovsk sector, the fighting has been particularly brutal. Russian forces launched 34 separate assaults, desperately trying to advance into Ukrainian territory. Out of these, Ukraine's army has successfully repelled 31 attacks. As the day comes to a close, three clashes are still ongoing. The toll on Russian troops has been immense. Today alone, 230 Russian soldiers have been killed in this sector, with 89 of them marked as irrevocable losses. Ukraine also managed to destroy key Russian military assets, including a retransmitter and three vehicles. In the Kurakiv sector, Russia made 34 more attempts to breach Ukrainian defenses near several settlements, including Silidov, Dolinivka, and Georgievka. Ukrainian forces have been on high alert, and out of the 34 Russian offensives, they successfully repelled 27. The fight is far from over, with seven clashes still ongoing. In the Vremivka sector, the Russians made eight desperate attempts to push Ukrainian units from their defensive positions near Vodiany and Katerinivka. Despite their best efforts, Ukrainian soldiers held their ground, stopping the Russians cold in their tracks. Over in the Pridnaproska erection, Ukrainian forces repelled eight more Russian assaults. The resilience of the Ukrainian defenders in this sector has been nothing short of remarkable, as they continue to deny Russia any significant gains. 
Despite facing overwhelming odds and near-constant bombardment, the Ukrainian military continues to show incredible resolve and tactical prowess. Every day, the bravery of Ukraine's soldiers and the resilience of its people serve as a powerful reminder that this nation will not be easily subdued. The conflict remains fluid, and while the Russians continue to throw resources into their offensive, they are encountering fierce and effective resistance at every turn. Ukraine's ability to adapt to battlefield conditions and effectively counter Russian tactics has been key to its success thus far. Stay with us for continued coverage and once again, don't forget to subscribe to our channel to ensure you never miss an important update. Your support helps us continue to deliver timely, accurate and critical information from the battlefield.